should have camped near that little creek. It was so perfect. Nah. You'll need a good night's sleep after all this. And the car's just half a mile down the path. This place makes for a pretty cool bedroom, though. Man. I'm beat. Oh, sorry. Just got one last thing to show you guys. I can't get enough of this place. <sighs> Come on, Daniel. Give me your hand. <sighs> <sighs> Slow down, Mom. You walk too fast. More walk, less talk. Then you'll pass me up. <sighs> Guys, check this out. Now this is nature's art. It's so big. And pretty. And so quiet. Except for the birds of prey. Shh. Listen. Serious? If we're lucky, yeah. Oh! 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 Uh oh! I hear a wolf. Better be careful. The hunters out here. The Wolf Brothers can't be trapped. You'd help us. You must hide all the time, Mom. There's not a lot to do, but that's enough for me. Good thing Joanne likes to come with me. Oh, I bet she would be fun to go hiking with. Well, not when I go too fast. She's all about the journey. We usually find a good pace. Uh, <laughs> usually. Joanne is like Sean. They make art, so they stop to look at stuff. You're way more like me. Fast. Yeah, I am like you, Daniel. So let's hurry up. I love to come here to get away from... <laughs> away. <laughs> I bet. It's the best spot. <laughs> Let's sit down. So, hey. I do appreciate that you guys stuck around this long. Thank you. <laughs> you actually helped us. You gave us a place to recharge and lay low. No kidding. I was so beat down after Haven Point. <sighs> I know. <sighs> this is the best place to take some time for yourself. You don't get that chance very often in life. Just know I love both of you so much, and I'm proud of who you are, and where you're going. <clears throat> By the way, if you wanted to, you could come with us to Mexico. That would be cool. I would love to come see you settled into a new home. You're almost there. But I have to be upfront with both of you. What happened in Haven Point is catching up on us. Huh? What do you mean? When we were in town, uh, we saw some stories in the papers. The feds are definitely tracking us down in the region. Shit. And they'll find us. Well... Figures. This couldn't last forever. Uh, so... This is it? See you, Nana. We'll leave tomorrow.
Can you hand me that bag, Sean? That's why I brought you back here. I made these for the 4th of July, but this is better. Oh, I love those things. Cool. Let's light up the sky. Um, are you guys all set up to leave? No. So that's we have to leave again. I think... I'm kind of scared. Oh, oh honey. What are you gonna do now? Take off and hide? Not this time. <laughs> I can't just run from this forever. So I'll do what I have to, to help you. It won't be easy crossing that border. So I'm gonna give you a head start from the police. Wait, how? What's your plan? The cops are after me too, for what happened in Nevada. So they can catch me instead of you. Fair trade. Mom, you'll go to jail for helping us. It's not about me right now. We need to get your asses to Puerto Lobos. Thank you. So much, Karen. I knew what I was doing when I came to Haven Point looking for your brother. I felt it was the right thing to do. And I feel the same today. I tried to live by my own rules, no matter what. I don't expect you boys to be like me. But try to stay true to yourselves. This is your life. Don't let anybody get in the way.
Fuck the rules. We'll do whatever we can to survive. That's fair. Yes, it is. You took care of Daniel all the way from Seattle to Arizona. Nobody could ask for a better brother. Or son. Okay. This is the last roundup. Wait, let me see bye to Joanne. All right. I'm gonna go do one last checkup on the truck before you hit it. And don't forget what we talked about. It's your life, Sean. Uh, you should go see David. He has something for you. Okay. Hey, Mom. I know you're better with words than me, but... Still, here it goes. It took me some time, but... I think I get why you are who you are. Maybe we're not that different. I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. You've done your best for us. And don't deserve what's coming. We'll make up for it. One day. Once the dust has settled. Take care. Talk soon. Sean. Look at that. He won't ever leave us alone. Still can't believe she's kept it. Okay, dude. Don't forget about David. I don't know. Come on. First thing that comes to... Hey. What's going on? Mm, I'm taking a look at this baby with hindsight. So, what do you think? Looks very cool. I can totally tell what you're doing. Oh, good. That makes one of us. But I like it. Of course, you and Daniel you did inspire me. I love it! So, you guys leaving now? Yeah, just wanted to say goodbye. Ah, uh, that's sweet. <laughs> You're so sweet. Your brother is so sweet. Having you boys around <laughs> was the sweetest thing. This is for all your help. Really? Whoa. That's great. Uh, do I get anything? <laughs> your name is on a way bigger sculpture. For everyone to see. That's true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, your brother needed a little something to remind him of the artist inside. <laughs> Wicked. Okay, one big hug. And get out of here before we all start crying like babies. 
Thank you, Joanne, for everything. Just please take care of yourself and my special apprentice. <laughs> no worries. We always do. Hey, is it okay if I hang out a bit longer? <laughs> if it's okay with her. Oh, are you kidding? I need more help. So long, Sean. Don't be a stranger. I'll miss you so much. Hi, Sean. Hey, guys. I came by to say adios. We're taking off today. No, you're not. Really? Everything okay? Yeah, just time to go. Well, shit. Wish you and Daniel could stay longer. Yeah, but it's too risky, especially for all of you. We all took a risk moving here. Look, we can hide you from the cops. <laughs> not these ones. They want my ass. It's better if we leave now. Sean, I won't drag this out and get bitter. Besides, you and Daniel will be back to visit, right? We'll try. I'm glad this place will be our last U.S. memory. You and your little brother will always have friends here. And a home. <laughs> okay. I'm done babbling. I just hate goodbyes. I know you're both gonna have a great life in Mexico. You better. Uh, we... We're gonna make it work. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna miss you guys. Take care. You hear? Watch out for Daniel. He needs you. Be safe. And send us a postcard to the beach. Damn. Can't wrap my head around those two leaving. I hope the UFOs are listening. Sean. Hey. Karen said you wanted to see me? Yeah, but go grab that police scanner inside first. I gotta put these new plates on the car. Sure. I'm on it. I'll join you when I'm done. Arthur said David could fix anything. <laughs> he hopes. Wonder where David got this police scanner. Must be his ex-wife. He's changed so much since this. And not for the best. I feel you, David. Yeah, me and David won't be sharing any playlist. That's right. I never saw David even drink a beer. What's David doing with that? Creepy dude. Yep, David is ready for that apocalypse or whatever. <laughs> Didn't think he'd be the type of guy to get custom plates. Oh. 
Okay, how does this thing work? Uh, okay. We gotta search between 140 and 160. This it? Sam's? Oh, shit. Now we can spy on the cops all the way to Mexico. <laughs> Thanks, David. You big rebel. Mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now. You have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. Y you only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I had been. I should have listened to Chloe, instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in ten years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free. Sooner than later. I don't know. I might... turn myself in after I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first. 
but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. <laughs> oh. Uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Right on time. Yeah. I'm good. Finally done setting up those solar panels. Ooh. Old school bottle opener alert. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm mostly working. And the sun's going down. I'm gonna take care of you, little buddy. You got that right. Now, how about you? Oh, uh, any news from the Fed? You'll be fine. Daniel, do you copy? It's time to wrap it up. So, did you get to say goodbye to Away? Yeah. Kinda sad. I know. Are we leaving yet? We have to, and I know. Come here. Mom... I... I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too, Danny. It was amazing to spend this time with you. I'm so damn proud of you both. And what you're gonna do with your life. And if you ever need me, I'm just around the corner. Okay, Mom. Thank you. Well, Sean, this is it. Thanks, Mom, for being there. Thanks for letting me, son. <sighs> Let's hit the road. Something wrong? We're almost there, okay? <laughs> That's the last time I have to say that. I don't care about that. So, what's the problem? What? What are we gonna do in Puerto Lobos? 
We don't know anybody. We're like strangers. How long can we live there? Forever. We can live like kings, dude. The dollar goes a long way there. We don't need much. Yeah, right. So who am I gonna play with? What do I do for fun? No worries. We do have some cash. And a power, right? We'll figure it out. Dude! I can't even speak Spanish. How can I make friends or do anything if I can't talk? I'll teach you, man. You think so? That's cool. You fit in everywhere we go. And we'll get to hang out, too. Um... Well, that sounds okay, I guess. Daniel, I get scared too, you know, but we'll be, we'll be fine. Okay, I trust you.